Welcome back to Daytime York Region. Today we're shining the spotlight on an organization, a local organization called Autism Dog Services. Today we're pleased to welcome the founder and director of Autism Dog Services, Wade Beattie. And also here today we've got Leslie Simmons um, and Alex Wong. Yes. Alex is Leslie's son. And uh, Alex is actually here to tell us about how Ruby, his dog, has helped him with his autism. Let's start off with you, Wade. Uh, take us back to the whole idea to involve dogs with uh, children and people living with autism. Yeah, it was an idea that started in Canada about 10 years ago. Mm. And it's really developed. Um, it's been fascinating how many kids have benefited from, from dogs and the whole animal therapy. Yeah. And I started Autism Dog Services about three, three years ago. Okay. And uh, I've worked with over 100 kids uh, across Canada with autism and service dogs. Wow, impressive. Yeah. Leslie, how have you seen Alex's life change since Ruby's come home and become part of the family? Oh, such a difference. Um, two days into getting her, Alex was sleeping through the night. He was never a good sleeper, never slept through the night, and I always had to go wow. and uh, sleep with him. So uh, she sleeps with him, and Alex calls in the middle of the night, and I'll just say, Ruby's with you, and that's it. So it's really helped him just oh. and, and helped the whole family, not just Alex. Well, yeah, and just calming when he when he has his when he's very anxious mm -hmm. and gets upset and has his meltdowns, he can just go to Ruby and he throws himself across Ruby and pets her ears and just very calm. It's amazing. So it's just yeah. So Alex, Ruby yeah. is your best friend. Yes. What are some of the things that you and Ruby do together on a daily basis? Um, well, she helped me get out of bed. Mm -hmm. And um we sometimes go on walks. Nice. Uh, we go to the beaches when it's nice out for some puppy training. <laughs> and it's quite amazing because you have to start, Wade, with this dog. I mean, as soon as Ruby was born, you have to start teaching her that she is sometimes working, sometimes not working. How do you do approach exactly. that? Exactly. It all starts when they're 12 weeks of age. Yeah. And um, the key is the first year is socializing. Mm -hmm. And we have weekly we have weekly training classes, and it's it's really about when they wear their jacket, they they know it's time to work, and okay. when their jacket's off, it's you know they're a regular dog, and they have all the the play play time and freedom of, of any of any normal dog. So mm. Just creating association. Uh, I'm just yeah. curious, how do you go about matching a dog with a child, or does it sort of just fit itself? As soon as the people meet, it's just you know it's right. Yeah, it's really I, you know I meet I meet the kids and the families when they express an interest in a service dog. So I spend a few hours at the home and I bring a dog and really, really talk about the expectations and, and role of a service dog. And then from there, if, if we decide that a dog is the right, is going to be the right answer for a child, mm -hmm. then it's really looking for the appropriate dog. The right. personality of the child, yeah. you know, where do they live, is the dog going to go to school with the, with the child and so on. And then I introduce the dog fairly early on in the training and see if there's chemistry. And yeah. that's, that's really the, the goal. Clearly, Alex and, and Ruby have great chemistry. They've been, you know, interacting and, and they fit so well together. Mm -hmm. Alex, what's your favorite thing about Ruby? Ooh, that's a tough one. I know. Mm. What do you like best about her? Mm. I like her eyes. Her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and she's always supportive, right? I mean, yeah. Leslie, for you to see Alex interacting with an animal so well, oh. what sort of relationship do they have? It, it's just unbelievable. We've um, Wade tried uh, Alex with two different dogs. Okay. And mm. Alex has a lot of the sensory so yeah. sensory issues. Taste, touch, taste, taste, touch, touch, and smell. Taste. And um, <laughs> when he met Ruby, Ruby walked up to Alex and uh, put her uh, nose to his palm. Mm -hmm. And um, afterwards, he said to me, "Mummy, when Ruby touched my palm, I felt a stroke of love for her." Oh. I was on the phone right away to oh, Wade, and I said, amazing. "We found the dog. We found yeah. her, and she has just been a gift yeah. to you know just the independence, the." You know, to see the two of them together Aww. has just... Uh, a hug. They're what, hugging. What is that bond, Wade, between so just sweet. human beings and dogs? Yeah, I think from the beginning of time, you know, domesticate, domesticated animals and, and the connection that we've, we've formed, and I think dogs and, and, and humans, and of course with uh, people with special needs, there's, there's a definite, there's a definite mm -hmm. connection. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the children that, um, with autism that don't do well socially with, with, with people can often you know, do very well with, with dogs. Find that best friend. Okay, yeah. what we yeah. didn't just see, Alex put a little treat on Ruby's yeah. nose, Three. Yeah. and Ruby is holding it. Is the she trick. gonna eat the treat? Yeah? One. 
One. Good girl. Wow. Uh, Jax, would your dog do that? Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. my dog would not do that. that um, you know, the, really, the program is based on uh, so many volunteers and, and sponsors, mm -hmm. and um, that was a piece of Yukonuba. And Yukonuba is, is great in sponsoring great the partner. program, feeding yeah. all the puppies and dogs in the program. And without the sponsors oh. and all the volunteers, the program would, wouldn't have the success it has today. So if families are watching right now and thinking this might be a, a fantastic resource to to help a child, um, how can they get in contact with you? Yeah, the website, www.autismdogservices. They can uh, email or call me. The, the, the most important program that we have is fostering of the puppies, and that's oh. really the key, is, is uh, families that volunteer to raise the, the, the pups for 12 to 15 good months, girl. and Very we provide good. all the all the food and all the vet expenses. Give them a great starting point, and then they can turn into exactly. these amazing dogs that they are today. Yeah. Go to the website autismdogservices.ca. We'll be right back with more on the show.